Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Triangle Strategy. Last time we left off, we got here to the exploration phase. And this is going to be my first one of these. I've been tasked with attending uh, you at the ceremony tomorrow, my lord. May it be a joyous occasion for all. I'm eager to hear your speech, and even more eager to see you triumph at the tourney. Benedict, I sense you may have some questions regarding this joint mining venture. Allow me to enlighten you. Combining the expertise and manpower of Norzelia's three nations, the mine will unearth the newly discovered vein of iron. We hope this will prove beneficial for all parties, providing wealth and prosperity in equal measure. It is said Lord Dragon's knowledge of iron working is peerless. I could think of none more suited to oversee the mine's development. Yeah, it's gonna be a mine that's useful for everybody. Enter? So I can't just go in people's houses and take my hero attacks, I'm guessing? Give me all your shit. No? I heard tell Prince Roland is shirking his duties at the castle again. Thank heavens that shiftless child isn't here isn't in line for the crown. No, don't be don't be mean to the prince. Alright, let's go over here and investigate the bucket. We got an HP recovery pellet from the bucket. You see the peace we enjoy now. No one would ever think but thirty years ago our realm was engulfed in war. The Salt Iron War seems not but a far-off nightmare now. You look like a, an older lady because you have, like, the bonnet. So I gave you the old lady voice. Examine? Oh, wow. Okay, so there's sometimes not even a shiny. So I'm going to have to do the thing that you do in old games, older JRPGs, where you just mash your face into everything. Or maybe I just didn't see the shiny there. Well, there's more shiny. So we can just run in places and take our hero attacks. Good. I am the hero of this adventure, so I deserve to be able to rob you. There is no rest for a young lordling. All eyes will be upon you in the coming days. Frederica and I shall make sure make every effort to learn the lay of the land so that we might share the weight of your duties. So my cat just screams for no reason behind me. Good job, buddy. Thanks for the co-commentary. Uh, alright. In this house? This is, the, is this the one I went into? No, this is not. Added Marvels of Norzelia Volume 8 to notes. You will find notes as the game progresses. These notes have no direct effect on the story, but they will help you better understand Norzelia and its history. Okay. View the notes you've collected any time by selecting more Chronicle notes. Well, looks like we're going to be reading those. So, notes. Up the Norzelia River and past a handful of craggy mountains lies the Asfrosty capital. Despite the blizzards oft swirling about it, the city itself is orderly and well-maintained. The people who dwell there are spirited and undaunted. By working together, they have managed to thrive in one of the most inhospitable places in the realm. It is this fortitude that has allowed Asfrost to grow into a nation to be reckoned with. Uh, turn page. Esfrost's ironstone was carved out a rocky mountainside, which is unusual, but fitting for a land with countless iron mines within its borders. It functions as both a castle and an iron factory. Carved out of a mountainside. Huh. Skilled artisans in the Grand Duchy are brought to the castle, where they mass-produce ironworks and engage in technological research, thanks to an enormous forge as large and as hot as the mouth of a volcano within the castle. They are able to create huge quantities of ironware and weapons on a daily basis for Ace Frost's pride and joy, the Black Irons. The Black Iron Tarkasus. Upon the castle's ramparts is arguably the crowning achievement of Ace Frost the Iron Working, a gigantic bell. Larger than the largest dragon, I cannot even begin to fathom how they managed to create such a beast. Each day, the bell tolls the time for the people in the capital. It is so loud, it can be heard all throughout the mountains and has even been known to trigger avalanches on distant slopes. Well, that's no good. Okay, so we got a little bit of lore about uh, Isfrost. Them being a hardy people, because they're living in the mountains and really loving iron and creating things out of iron. Makes sense. Greetings, my lord. My friend and I are playing hide-and-seek. Uh, is this going to be the opening JRPG thing where I got to find all the kids playing uh, hide-and-seek? By your request, Benedict and I shall take part in the journey. May we bring victory to House Wolfort. Yep, I'm excited to have you along, cool rogue character. I like the ones, and it seems like she can specifically go invisible, which is always really, really fun. Kitty. 
I can get an attack in and then like be like, haha, poof, I'm gone. Go assassinate like an important healer or something. Another HP recovery pellet. So yeah, I can get a lot of free items doing this. Well, I'm gonna make sure to explore these sections as thoroughly as I possibly can. Here I did go in, right? Yes, yes, because I remember looting that bag. Okay, I'll come to you, you, you dorks in a minute. This town is prosperous, and its people have faith in their lord, an impressive achievement by my experience. You're Dragon. You are too kind, Lord Dragon. Oh, my apologies, but you are. The apology should be mine. I'm Sarah Noah Wolfort. I've come to remind you to return to the castle before the banquet begins. Certain parties are, are quite insistent. Of course, I appreciate the consideration. I would like to explore the town a while longer, but rest assured I shall be punctual in my arrival. Alright. You seem like you didn't even know who I was, or cared. Ah, oh, I must make ready for the wedding ceremony. What gift would best suit the union of you and Lady Frederica? Hmm. It's an impossible choice. Perhaps an audience with Lord Simon will spark inspiration. Just give me, like, a billion healing items, please. A lot of folk have come to town for the ceremony. I even saw a man earlier wandering about in wide-eyed wonder. Okay. More stuff to loot. Give me all your shit. I can scarce remember the last time Glenbrook was host of such a marvelous tourney. Who among the nations will win glory? Which will be made the fiercest... Which will be known as the fiercest in all of Norzalia? I mean, to be there when history is made. Sorry, just gotta rub my face on all your walls to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, everything checks out. Everything looks in order here, citizen. I still can't believe Travis and his feral spawn attacked your dear bride to be like that. I'm just glad we got there before any real harm could be done, my lord. Uh huh. Thank you for that. Most esteemed personage from each nation will be attending the ceremony, I hear. A veritable melting pot of politics, a salt monger. Such an opportunity to meet and speak with your peers must not be wasted, my lord. So you're from Hyzant, if you're a salt monger, I guess. Or you bought the salt from Hyzant. Uh, anything to rob? Okay, yeah, I didn't see a glowy there. I was looking in the top right of the screen and I just ran into the pot hammering A, so maybe I just missed it, but... I don't know, it seems like some stuff doesn't shine, or I'm just missing it. One of the two. I'd investigate the pot, you never know. There's been nothing to miss, my lord, another quiet day. Okay, I think we're pretty much good now. I, I think that's just about everything. My husband works from dawn till dusk at the port, lifting crates and who knows what else. It's honest work, though, and the backbone of our livelihoods besides. We're playing hide-and-seek till Da comes home. I need to find a place to hide and quick. Um, take care not to hurt yourself. Your father wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Oh, one of my favorite games. Barrels were always my favorite place to hide. He's a clever mind to hide. Perhaps you can use that cleverness to help your father when you're older. Ah, one of my favorite games. Barrels were always my favorite place to hide. Strengthen convictions have been strengthened. Barrels. I would have never thought of that, my lord. <laughs> They'll never find me now. Speak from experience. They won't. However, there may be even better hiding places to find around, to be found around town. Jeez. You're right, my lord. I'll find a hiding place no one's ever thought of before. Please don't go, like, get yourself killed or something. Or kidnapped. It's just like him, the gallivant off with nary a word of farewell. Still, I suppose this is a chance to become acquainted with my future home. How would you describe your town, Serenoa? Um, to know a town, you must take time to relish her company. That's what Eridor told me in perhaps more colorful words. It's the port at the center of commerce, a town built on taxes, but not at the expense of fair trade. The fort is nestled safely behind the castle walls. It is a town at peace and sets an example for the rest of the kingdom. I'll go with this one. To know a town, you must take time to relish her company. Hey, you gotta get to know the town. I haven't known Eridor for long, but those words are undeniably his. Perhaps I ought to take a page out of his book, as I've done regrettably little relishing since I've arrived. You did push yourself, Frederica. There's something we do... Time is something we do not lack. Once matters have settled, I will give you a tour of Wolford myself. Thank you, Sarah Noah. I very much look forward to that. You have given me much to consider. I haven't given you that much to consider, to be fair. Okay, I think that's everything. I think I'm good now. So talking to the people, the exclamation points above their head, like, gives you an opportunity to kind of build your convictions a little bit by making decisions. Cool. Well, exploration is definitely something we want to spend a lot of time doing, I believe. 
The banquet will begin soon. Lord Dragon and I had best not arrive late. Indeed. Wouldn't want to piss anybody off. At the banquet. Oh, the minister again. I thank you for your hospitality today, Lord Saranoa. Hmm, that's not the voice I expected. Think nothing of it. Did you enjoy the city, Lord Dragan? Quite. Its people are full of life and love for their lord. That says all I need to know about House Wolfort. You honor us with your words. I am only being frank. Frederica is the sister of the Archduke, after all, and my cousin besides. I would not see her marry into an unworthy house. Suffice to say, my expectations were exceeded. I have heard much of your ingenious contributions to the mining efforts. I sense prosperous days are ahead of us. As do I. Finally, our nations enter into an age unfettered by war. With Esfrost's iron, Hyzant's salt, and Glenbrook's mediation, there is no limit to what we can achieve. We must regard each other as equals, and forge mutually beneficial relationships. I sense skepticism in your words, Lord Dragan. Do you mean to imply our relations are not already mutually beneficial? Oh shit, we're getting into the drama. I need not imply anything. The salt tax you claim makes my case more than clear. <laughs> I love how I love how sassy we're getting right at the start here. It's great. Bold words from one so young. Is that how peers speak to one another? Perhaps the young ones, yes. What do you think, Lord Saranoa? Uh-oh. Dissatisfaction with assault tax was one cause of the war, was it not? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. Oh god. <laughs> that's that's the approach you're taking. We're the chosen people. We deserve the salt. This is the foundation of the teachings that guide us in Hyzant. By allying with Esfrost, do you mean to gainsay our most fundamental beliefs? Of course not, Minister. We understand that the source is Norzelia's sole supply of salt. And we would not deny that it is the Holy State's right to harvest and tax it as you see fit. Thank you for acknowledging that. Though it strikes me that your words are measured. You needn't be so non-committal, Lord Saranoa. It is only reasonable that the three of us have differing opinions on the matter. However, that is all the more reason for us to be open to frank discussion. Hmm. Honored guests, <laughs> pray forgive my son. We of House Wolfort are but simple warriors. <laughs> I'm afraid matters of finance and politics do not come to us naturally. Yeah. I mean, they, they, he, he told you guys to take it easy on me. It was my first day, okay? I don't know a lot about this yet. You're all just gonna talk circles around me, because you've done this before. You've done the intrigue. This, however, I can say. We will fight injustice and tyranny wheresoever it may be. Of course, we do not enjoy conflict. Still, we will not hesitate to defend our land and our people should the need arise. There we go, there we go. Just a, just a little, just a little point. You know, just a little bit jab, a little sharp with your words, but but not overly so. No matter how mighty the threat, we will fight for home and kingdom. Yes, Lord Simone. Of that we are keenly aware. I apologize if I spoke out of turn. But the fact remains that as every winter passes, the tension between our nations grows, and salt is the cause. Yeah, I mean, of course they would get salty. If tensions are growing, of course people are going to be get salty. That's that's natural. The common folk have all but forgotten its taste. I simply want to ease their suffering. Fair. But are you actually doing it for the common folk, or are you doing it for some boon to yourself? Or are you simply hiding behind, I'm going to do it for the common folk, but actually you want something else? 
The ministry I oversee is committed to the preservation of life. I personally believe that salt should not be a luxury reserved for the privileged few. Yeah, okay, so you agree. Yeah, okay. All those who live require it. Not just those lucky enough to be born within the borders of our holy state. You agree with me then? But you're still gonna tax it high as hell, so the poor can't afford it. How I feel matters little. In Hyzant, the word of the goddess, as conveyed to us from the lips of the Hierophant, is absolute. Um, uh, I see. I see you have a, a goddess interpreter, as you will. Well, um, I never trust those people because they can say whatever the hell they feel like and they can be like, well, I'm the only one that can speak to the gods, so of course I'm right and no one can question them, so... Yeah, so you actually disagree with how uh, Hyzant is dealing with the salt trade, but you can't question the Hierophant because they're supposed to be the word of the goddess, the mouthpiece of the goddess. But perhaps this joint mining venture of yours may lead to the change you seek. Indeed, we must set our gazes to the future. All of us. I expect you will be the ones to usher us into a new era. Yes, father. Okay, yeah, I'm liking I'm liking how much intrigue and drama we're getting right off the start. These people are not friends. They are enemies and they're being forced to kind of play nice. So I like that they're, that we're all just not super nice to each other. Hello. Side stories. Okay, cool. We'll pursue that, I suppose. I probably want to pursue it while it's an option, right? But yeah, I like that everyone isn't just immediately playing nice. There is shit being talked. There is political intrigue happening. I like that. Children of the Crown speak of their father, King Regna. Okay, well this seems important, so let's go ahead and do this. Father spoke not a single word to me today. Before long, I fear I might forget the sound of his voice. That was not the voice I expected from you. It's a very different sounding voice. Not one I feel like I've really heard that much before. Interesting. Please, sister. You weep and wail like a common girl. Show some composure. Father has a kingdom to rule. A kingdom engaged in a historic endeavor. He has more important duties than to pamper a spoiled child. Okay, the one in the bottom left was the one that joined us for that fight, right? One, the, the, the prince? I... Yes. Of course, brother. You speak as if father's duties include anything more than licking the boots of these dignitaries. <laughs> we got some disagreements between uh, the siblings here. Yeah, I do believe you're the one that joined us in that battle, right? So you're Roland, and you're the one that specifically wants to join on our side, and you're also the one that came to help us against uh, Travis and Trish, and you're uh, Sarah Noah's friend. It is inconceivable he cannot spare the time to break bread with his daughter. You speak out of insolence and ignorance, Roland. I speak only the truth. He leaves all the cumbersome tasks to the Wolforts and Minister Patria. A king's word is to be obeyed. And what of his subjects? Do they exist simply to bring him glory? To take the blame for his failures? They are to serve as he sees fit the hell they are. Mm, I'm loving the dialogue in this so far. It does make me, like, nostalgic for Final Fantasy Tactics. There's a lot of philosophy and politics going on here. That is that is just cool, and I like it. It, it definitely, definitely takes me back to that time. Believe as you wish. Speaking of his subjects, it appears Lordship of House Wolfort will be passed down to young Serenoa. What? How fortunate for you to have a friend in the new lord. Best not take loyalty for granted, however. House Wolfort is obedient enough for now, but that can change as quickly as the wind. Use them well when you can, but be ready to bring down your fist if they dare to rise above their station. Don't speak of them like lapdogs. They're not servants, they're my friends. 
Do you really think to lead with such a soft heart? You are not fit to wear the royal signet. Oh, stop this fighting at once! You frighten me! Enough of this. Where are you going, brother? To train with Sir Maxwell. I would clear my head. There is a tourney on the morrow, after all. Brother! Yeah, I'm definitely noticing some of the dub... Some of the dub voice actors are better than others. Like, Franey there was pretty damn good. Oh, who's this sick badass? I yield. Maxwell? Your spear wavers, my prince. Something weighs on your mind. You've always been able to see through me. It's no great feat. Your heart lies ever on your sleeve. Do I hear disapproval in your voice? Not exactly, my prince. It can be a weakness, yes, but it can also be your strength. After all, sometimes a direct strike is most effective at piercing a formidable defense. I will take those words to heart, Sir Maxwell. Thank you for today. The pleasure was mine. I expect a good fight from you tomorrow. In the final match, no doubt. Are you wearing like a mask? I can't tell. I just really like your hat. I, lo I love like cavaliers and tricorns and things like that. I take the field with House Wolfort. Together, I have no doubt we can emerge triumphant. Ah, that would explain your improvement. Young Saranoa is a worthy training partner. Even so, I have no doubt you've held your own against him. Tomorrow you shall show the realm what I already know. That you are a warrior worthy of your family's legacy. Sir Maxwell, I... Sometimes I wish I wasn't a prince. Sometimes I wish I'd been born your son instead. Surely you jest, your highness. Yeah, some people don't want their responsibility and to be thrust in that position and pampered all the time. So it makes sense. Your father is a great king, and an even greater man. It is an honor to serve him as I do. Apologies. I forget myself. I must have taken quite a blow. Anyhow, I suppose I should rest till the morrow. Be well, Sir Maxwell. It cannot be easy being the youngest prince. To have others expect nothing from you, yet still shake their heads in disapproval. Yup, that's the other bad part. But you can rise above this, my prince. Seize your chance and lay everyone's doubts to rest once and for all. Hmm. So there is a lot weighing on this tourney. We're proving our power. Roland is trying to prove how useful he is and set himself apart from his older siblings. So, okay, this is neat. This is neat. I'm liking this. A lot of things are coming together. Banquet ends without incident and everyone breathes a sigh of relief. Dragon, however, has something on his mind. So are we still not doing another battle yet? When's the tourney starting? At this point, most of these videos are playing like a visual novel. <laughs> All right, let's go. Or most of these videos are gonna watch like a visual novel, not play. Now that's what I call a feast. You've landed quite the catch, Frederica. He is a good man. I can see it in his eyes. Dragon, you're drunk. Go home. You are too kind, Lord Dragan. Oh, Dragan. Sorry, I, I keep saying Dragon. But Dragan. It's basically just dragon, except with an A. And humble as well. Are you impressed as I, Frederica? I can tell that your heart is pure and gentle, my lord. Lady Frederica. Forgive me if I caused offense. I thought only to return your sincerity and kind. No apologies are needed. I am happy to meet your approval. 
I... Thank you, my lord. <laughs> Words come so easily to the both of you. And a perfect match. Forgive my curiosity. What sort of life did Lady Frederica lead in Esfrost? Dot dot dot. Her life? <laughs> Truth be told, my dear Serenoa, not a pleasant one. Those of Rosellen blood are looked down upon in Esfrost, <laughs> even if they are the daughter of the Archduke's concubine. Oh boy, we're gonna. Dragon or, or uh. Dra dragon. Dragan. Dragan. Uh, you're gonna piss somebody off because you're drunk, aren't you? You're just gonna, you're just gonna start flapping your gums. Gustadolf's full siblings are the worst of the lot. They have not a shred of human compassion between them. They cruelly bully the girl endlessly, regardless of time or place. Is this... Wow, I mean, I bet she's happy to be away from there. I mean, you know, it's, it sucks getting away from your family, I guess, and all of that, but if she was just abused most of the time, yeah, hopefully things will be better here. True, of course it is. I know Frederica's suffering all too well. My own father lived ever in the shadow of his elder brother, the former Archduke. Our house, too, is met with sneers by those who consider themselves our betters. Lived in the shadow of his older brother. Okay, so, yeah, your dad was in Roland's position, basically. But no more. I shall show all those simpering fops that it is not birth that makes greatness, but deed. And so I did my due research at the archives, that my grand invention shall blast our way forward. <laughs> Dragan, please. I believe you've had enough to drink. Uh, nah, let him keep drinking. He's dropping a lot of interesting story bits here. <laughs> You can hardly blame me for availing myself of Glenbrook's finest libations. Brought by traders from the realm over. Each cask more exotic than the last. <laughs> Why, to not partake would be an affront to our newfound allies. Just make sure your head is clear for tomorrow. Or have you forgotten you're meant to be representing your nation? Mm, oh, yes, a, a ceremony to usher in a new age of harmony and prosperity. Oh, I thought for a second they meant you were participating in attorney. I'm like, yeah, that's probably not something you want to participate in hungover. I am too young to have known the war, so I, I see our three nations joining hands more as a matter of expedience. But what of you, my kin to be? How do you see our grand cooperative venture? A uh, dragon's voice actor is doing a very good job acting drunk here, because you sound like a totally different person than when I heard you speaking earlier, when you were actually proper and everything. And now you're drunk as shit. You're sloshed, and they're doing a good job portraying that. <clears throat> okay, how do I see it? It's the first step towards true harmony among our three nations. I welcome it. Will benefit all nations involved. I see nothing wrong with that. It's impossible to understand each nation's motivations. I can't say whether this bodes well. It will benefit all nations involved. True harmony. I don't. I don't think it's going to lead to true harmony. I think if it led to true harmony, we wouldn't be having a game to play. So that just seems a little bit naive there. <laughs> it's impossible to understand each nation's motivations. I can't say whether this bodes well. Will benefit all nations involved. I see nothing wrong with that. Um, definitely between these two. I'll I'll look for the better in people and say it will benefit all nations. I see nothing wrong with that. It will benefit all nations involved. I see nothing wrong with that. Indeed. 
I didn't know you had such a mercantile mind, Serenoa. Coin drives the hearts of men and nations alike. I suspect all parties wouldn't be so eager to join hands if not for the promise of profit. And when we're all able to fill our coffers, perhaps we can finally let go of old grudges. Or use the filled coffers to go to war with each other, as is human, as humans like to do. I was about to say as is human nature, but no, I would venture to say that's not human nature. But uh, there's a lot of humans that do want to do that. A sensible perspective. I didn't know you had such a practical mind. In any event, it is always good to have another perspective on matters. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe we're on the cusp of a great achievement. All right, Dragon, come on. We got to get you to bed, buddy. We, we got to get you to bed. As always, it is the young who must bear the burden of building the future. Old shoulders are frail, old minds stubborn. Agreed. Whatever lies in our future, those who make it will mark their names in history. And mine, mine will be written large for all to see. And I would write yours next to it, my dear cousin. Pray, come visit me at the mines once operations are underway, and I, I shall... Uh, Fagan, are you quite all right? Oh no, did someone poison you? I thought you were about to vomit on the floor. <laughs> are you good or are you poisoned? Worry not, Frederica. I'm just a bit tipsy. Perhaps I should just lie. Oh. Okay, no, you're not dead. Good. I thought for a second you were poisoned. That's probably what they wanted me to think. It would seem Lord Dragan has turned in for the night. Quite the passionate fellow, isn't he? He's never been one to hide his ambition, ever since we were little. Neither does he hide his disapproval of my brother and trueborn siblings. Feelings which you share? Yeah, I imagine he's one of the few people that you... I don't know, I wouldn't say felt camaraderie with, but probably had a bit more empathy towards your position, since they were going through a very similar thing. <clears throat> I grant it would be satisfying to see the sneers of those who look down on me wiped from their faces. But I also agree with Lord Simone. That we must set our gazes to the future. Though I know not yet how I might best serve in this new age, I would do what I can. You'll best serve by tearing the flesh from people's bones with fire, of course. We are of the same mind in that regard, my lady. Let us ease the weight of each other's burdens. Please, call me Frederica. We are to be husband and wife after all. Of course, my... <laughs> Frederica. Pray, call me Saranoa as well. Uh, we should carry your cousin to his chambers. Will you help me, Frederica? Certainly, Saranoa. Let us take care not to wake him, lest he resume his prattle. <laughs> you two feel like you're so on airs with each other, like you're... S I mean, you just met and you're to be husband and wife, so I guess it makes sense, but you two are so awkward around each other. All right, well let's let's get let's get drunk boy back to his room. <clears throat> mhm, mm Benedict, what are we doing? Who's grave? Benedict. Hmm. I thought I might find you here. My lord. Did you tell her? that Saranoa would soon be taking over as lord of our house. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Saranoa's mommy. Forgive me, my lord. I did not think to... 
Save your apologies, Benedict. Doubtless she was overjoyed to hear it from you. Destra always did trust you above all her advisors. As do I. For 30 years, you have served my house better than I ever could have asked for. You honor me, my lord. My lord? <laughs> I suspect this will be the last night I will hear those. Oh no. Here we go. My lord, I will call for a healer at once. Uh, do not bother, Benedict. It will avail me not. You know as well as I how my heart now fails me. My lord. And so I entrust Sarah Noah to you. For our house. Pray heed this old man's final order. Certainly. I will live to serve your son until I breathe my last. Did you hear that, Destra? Our boy is in good hands. My old dear friend. Long have we stood together. I will not let you down, my lord. No. Well, you kind of expect the father figure to die a lot in these games, so <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, there's something weird with Sarah, no Sarah Noah's voice acting in particular. It feels like he doesn't have a lot of emotion at times, I feel, which, I don't know, maybe it's intentional for the character. Like, Benedict, it makes a bit more sense if Benedict doesn't show a lot of emotion, because Benedict seems very kind of calculating and everything, but with Sarah Noah, I don't know, it's just weird. It just seems like he doesn't really have a lot of emotion when he speaks. None of the other characters are really like that. But, yeah, it's weird. But, uh, yeah, we're at 37 minutes, so we're probably gonna have to go ahead and end this episode off here without a battle again. So... I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Triangle Strategy, and I'll see you next time for some more.